The story of the chupacabra, aka goat sucker, made the news around the world in March of 1995 when eight sheep were found dead with three hole puncture wounds in their chest and completely drained of blood. The story of the cryptic creature resurfaced several months later when a Puerto Rican woman named Madeline Tolentino discovered 150 dead animals, all with the same markings. The chupacabra is described as part reptile with a quilled spine and approximately four foot in height. Some reports even say that it hops, kind of like a kangaroo. Later reports, primarily from Brazil, described it as having monkey-like hind legs and able to fly or leap. Some witnesses claim to have seen large fangs as well. But in nearly all cases, descriptions reported the creature as a predator, unafraid to attack anything, from small livestock like chickens and goats to even human beings. Cryptozoologist Laura Coleman has explained in the past that the high volume of reports and studies have made Chupacabra the most studied crypto in the world. He has also stated that he believes the phenomenon can be explained with a wild dog theory. Dog packs tend to do that, go on frenzied attacks, eat a little, and then leave the rest. Coleman also seems to believe the stories of the creature have been blown out of proportion, not so much by the witnesses, but by the media who cover the stories. Newspapers love the phrase chupacabra, but most cryptozoologists aren't going to the bank with it. Coleman then addressed the American lore counterpart for the chupacabra, the Jersey Devil. If you look at the Jersey Devil, anything unknown, or that happens in New Jersey, falls under the heading, the Jersey Devil. Exactly the same thing is happening now with the chupacabra. So far, no one has ever captured a photo of chupacabra, and there's certainly never been a capture of chupacabra himself. Some sources have countered that argument by pointing out that no pack of wild dogs has ever been discovered in the areas where the attacks have taken place either. And certainly, one of the strangest pieces of evidence in the case of this cryptic creature is that, among all the many attacks across North and South America, the corpses of the livestock victims were only ever drained of blood, but the meat was not eaten. In the year 2000, Chilean ufologists accused the Chilean military of lying about their knowledge of the creature, and even going so far as to say that the military had discovered chupacabra eggs. Some also believe that NASA created the creature in a laboratory and turned it loose into the wild. Reports and sightings are still coming in yearly, with the most recent case occurring in Box Spring Mountains in Riverside, California in July of 2017. Do you believe in Chupacabra? Have you ever seen one? Let me know in the comments what you think about this kooky cryptid.